Do you have the urge to walk around naked in the rain? Push around, little goblins. All while earning tens of thousands of rupees an hour. Well, uh, getting close to you because, uh, I got the solution for you. So there, welcome back, everybody. Today, I found an absolutely fantastic grinding location for y'all to work with today and get you tens of thousands of runes per hour, depending on how you actually do it. And it actually requires very little skill to actually do it effectively. And not to mention, you don't have to reset frequently, too. So it's actually a nice grind to easily put on the background and just do other stuff while you're grinding yourself tens of thousands of runes. So first things first, how to get there. Well, on this map, you're going to need to go to this third church of Marika. To actually get to this church, it's actually fairly simple to get from the first grace that you're actually going to. You can just pretty much head down the main road, turn right, and then turn left, and you'll basically wander right into the third church of Marika. Once you're actually here, you can go ahead, activate the grace, collect a couple of items. But the main thing is that we want to head right behind it to this water location, somewhere right over here. And over here, you will see a teleporter that will take you to a far-off location somewhere in the northeastern portion of the map. Now, this portion of the map is usually reserved for much later on in the game and is not meant for ultra-low-level players. However, the enemies inside the zone are incredibly weak and can easily be slain with some pretty low-level weapons. After finding the teleporter, go ahead and walk through it. You'll be transported to the Grail's Dragon Barrow. Now, make sure you don't walk behind yourself, because unfortunately, there's an incredibly strong boss right there. Do not even attempt to engage with it. Just go ahead and walk over here, open the doors. I already have them open. You'll have to open them. It's just as simple as pressing E. And inside this Bestial Sanctum, there is a grace you can go ahead and rest at and reset. But the enemies we actually want to fight are all the way out in this section of the plains. A fantastic area to grind. Now, you can see there's a little bit of a rectangular portion here. There is a bridge with a dragon on it. Do not attempt to cross it, but essentially we're going to be sticking into this zone, going around in a somewhat clockwise fashion, and then coming back up back to the Bestial Sanctum. The enemies we'll be fighting today are a sort of weird hybrid version of a goblin uh, in Wanderer's Attire. Now before we get out there, we're going to either gear ourselves up appropriately for this. Since we're mostly going to be utilizing backstabs and critical strikes to actually destroy these enemies, Gear itself is actually not that important, and you can shed most of it off to increase your speed and to reduce your grind time. So in the case of my character, I can just go ahead and basically take off everything here. Alright, after you're completely bum naked, let's go ahead outside and start finding some enemies. I recommend going ahead and going up here to the left side, and just going around in a clockwise fashion. It's just easy and organized, it prevents multiple trips back and forth across the map and i'll go ahead and speed through this section just so you guys can actually go ahead and get an idea of the rotation and not have to sit here and watch me try to do this in free time there's also another way to enhance your rune acquisition you can use something like the gold pickled foul foot which increases your boost for acquisition for a limited period of time for me, it actually boosted from roughly around 1,100 runes per goblin to roughly around 1,340 runes per goblin, which is absolutely fantastic if you're going to do this over a long stretch of time, which is roughly around a 20% increase. You can also use the Silver Pickled Foul Foot for a little bit of time. This will boost your item acquisition that you get from the trash mobs themselves, so you can actually sell off those items for a little bit of money. However, considering that it takes an extra step and is a bit slow to do, I wouldn't recommend that to begin with. And on top of that, you can also get a crafting recipe later on down the line that allows you to turn these silver pickle foots into the golden ones, allowing you to get that rune acquisition at a higher rate just innately without having to go through that process of selling, which by itself is slow and to not much money. All right, after slaying your fair amount of goblins, go ahead and teleport back to the Bestial Sanctum. Here you can go ahead and heal up, get all your items in check, and go ahead and level up your character a few times before going out into the field. I recommend doing that just because having a large sum of runes out on the field, kind of bad juju vibes, you're probably going to end up losing them if you're not very careful. So go ahead and spend them while you can. But as you can see, even with that little grind session that we did there, we still managed to get ourselves close to 32,000 runes, which is absolutely fantastic. But beyond that, go ahead and just constantly refresh at the grace and go ahead and farm yourself an infinite amount of runes super easily. I'd also recommend that when you're doing this to go ahead and utilize a weapon with either a high amount of critical 
or that just has a high amount of damage to begin with as either one will go ahead and ensure that you one-shot these goblins. If you're going ahead and using a very low strength weapon, it's going to take you a little bit more time to actually kill these things and will slow you down. Not to mention that these goblins have a very high damage output and often one-shot characters that do not have a very high vitality. So instead, go the easy route, backstab them with this weapon, and congratulations, you get yourself an easy kill and a thousand runes. This is the weapon that I got from the tree sentinel by the way at the beginning of the game too so absolutely fantastic weapon you don't even need to level it up to one shot however i also do have 25 strength but you can also use daggers and other things with a high amount of critical strike and that should do you just as well these creatures do not have a lot of poise so that means they can easily be staggered by a variety of weapon types and so you can easily chain together a series of attacks to go ahead and slay these things down, assuming you get the upper hand on them. So I want to thank you all for joining this evening. If you found this guide to be quite helpful, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below what other guides you'd like to see. On that, guys, I want to thank you all for joining this evening. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.